Hi everybody, on this overview we're going to talk about the cast cap, the latest invention to get rid of measuring spoons in your kitchen. This little top does it all, and we're going to talk about it right now. Now cast caps comes in various increments as far as the bottles are concerned. This is a six bottle set. You can also buy just the caps, but we're going to go to open this up and show you what's inside. Now inside comes a complete package. You'll find a little O-ring or a gasket on the top. It's just an extra gasket. You'll also find all the labels and we'll show you in detail what all these are about. You have an instruction guide that shows you what's in here as well. And cast caps measure straight from the bottle, which it absolutely does. Has nice protection for all the glass units. These aren't cheap plastic containers. These are very nice glass containers and they have various functions on the top, which we'll get into in a little bit. This actually comes with a funnel, so you can pour in all your spices when we take the top off, we'll show you that. It comes with a pen, because in the labeling system, you can actually do a custom label. This is what it looks like as it's shipped to you to your door. So let's go ahead and take these out and get into the details. A plain cap you can screw on to seal the top without any of the features, but just to keep it sealed. So what is a cast cap? A cast cap is this ingenious little device. Now this is the cast cap. You can get caps that will fit on various types of spice bottles. I recommend you get it with the bottles. I also like the fact it's a real glass bottle. Um, I've had some spices I bought that were the plastic containers, which I do not like, and it allows you to put the label on and mark this. So we'll have a link down below of the types of spice containers that actually work. So if they're in your house already, you can actually take those and put the caps right on and get the caps. If you don't have them, no problem. You can go ahead and get the complete set, which comes with the top and the glass bottle. Now, how this works is you basically put your spices in here and you'll end up with a bottle like this. And this happens to be my sea salt. This is kosher grain sea salt. You can use various coarse grains of sea salt, kosher salt, Florida de sal, and various other salts. But you have to be careful because if you get really fine grain salts, this top will end up sticking and one of the things that you have to be careful of is that if it gets caught, you're gonna go ahead and keep it open like this thinking, uh oh, there's a problem. There isn't. You can actually take this and wash it out really good, dry it overnight, and then this will be good to go. Now I happen to have a couple containers here. Uh, this is my sea salt. This is a kosher grained sea salt, and I've got some seasoning as well that I put in here. And one of the things that's great about this is you open up this top, and when you do so, a quarter of a teaspoon comes out every single time. We're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right here so you can see this. All you do is twist the top and you'll get one quarter of a teaspoon every single time. Now, the thing that's great about this is it's very easy to count your measurements or to double the recipe or cut it in half. If, for example, you want a half a teaspoon, you go ahead and just do this twice and you have a half a teaspoon. If you do it four times, you have a full teaspoon. Now, there is a limit where, of course, somebody's not gonna wanna crank away on this thing 35 times to get a really large measurement. So this is meant for really individual recipes or recipes for, I'd say, two to four people where you don't need to have tons of spices. Now, one of the things that I do is when I cook, and you've seen my cooking barbecue videos, I will do a big mixture on something, and I really don't measure because it's a lot of rub, for example, and I will go ahead and save it and use it, and then, of course, I find it six months later in a bag and it's not fresh, it's not great, I end up throwing it out. So I end up wasting a lot of that stuff. So I've actually started to scale back when I make my own rubs and my own seasonings and I like the cast cap because I can do just what I need for myself or my wife and I for dinner, make a really nice pasta dish, get it seasoned up with the sauces and get that exact measurement that I need without overdoing the excess spices and wasting them like I've done in the past. Now, what I'll recommend is for this, you go ahead and have a funnel that he provides. It's perfectly sized to fit on there. It's not gonna fall off. It stays really nicely on there. And you can take your spices and pour it in and get it in the bottle very, very easily. The other thing this comes with is a great guide. You can actually save 10%. It's got a code in here. You can save 15% with me and my link. It's an exclusive discount for Ukulele J Barbecue. You won't find it anywhere else. Go ahead and look at the link down below. Click on that. And when you get your order, you'll go ahead and get 15% off. It's an absolute incredible deal, and it's only available for Ukulele J Barbecue viewers and subscribers, so make sure you go ahead and get that. Now, the one thing about the cast cap that I like is it comes with all of these labels, 
And the thing that's great is it has just about every spice or seasoning you can think of. It has the round ones for the bottle. It also has these as well. So you've got a full set of everything you need to do this. It also comes with some blanks, which I'll show you. There's probably a few in there. Somebody will find, I'm sure, that maybe aren't here, but everything that I use that's in my cupboard has been in here. And if you don't have a seasoning that is listed, you've got this, which was smart for them to think of. And with the included pen, you can go ahead and write what you want on here. If you make a rub, you can actually, you know, put it pork rub or beef rub, whatever you want, and you can then include it on the bottle. Now, the one thing that people say is, well, what if I don't want a quarter teaspoon? What if I want to just, you know, sprinkle some on? That's not a problem because the cast cap right up here, you open this up and now you can go ahead and add seasoning and shake on your salt or anything you want very easily. When you're done, you just close it up and then you're ready to go for the quarter teaspoon increment so you can do it either way. It's absolutely fantastic. And one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a simple seasoning that I make. It's something that I love to put on any of my proteins, whether it's chicken or beef or pork. It's a very simple seasoning and we're gonna go and walk you through that right now using the cast cap. To fill your bottle, place the funnel on top of the bottle. It's very easy. Take your seasoning, go ahead and put that in the bottle. And when you're done, you wanna go ahead and close this up. And what's great about this cap is that when it goes on, you'll twist it all the way and you'll notice that it opens like this. Just keep going, keep going. And then until you can feel it snug, it's nice and tight. And now your cast cap is firmly affixed. You're ready to go for your quarter of a teaspoon increment and get that seasoning on your meat or your chicken or your fish, whatever you like. Now for my recipe, I had all my ingredients and I remembered I was actually out of pepper. So I just refilled the pepper and I wanted to show you how easy it was to take this, get the sticker black pepper, peel it off. And I like to be very centered and very type A, as you can't tell. And I'll center that black pepper on the bottle like so. And there you go, black pepper, and it does not come off at all. I've used these things for quite a while. Um, they've gotten wet, I've dried it off very quickly, no problems with the labels. So we're gonna add this to our recipe and let's get into making this generic rub. Now, one of the things I'm gonna start doing in my recipes, especially when they're for one or two portions, I'm gonna give you the number of twists it takes for each spice to make the recipe. So rather than a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, tablespoon, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you the numbers. So for example, this is my four, three, two recipe. You're gonna have four on these, three on these, and two on these. When I list these, you'll just see four, three, two, and that's gonna be my new cast cap measurement for my recipes. So I don't have to worry about any more ingredient measurements, any more of these measuring spoons. I'm just gonna put the twists that I take on these and now I've got my recipe and you can actually then copy it very easily without having to look back and remember, was it a half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon? You just remember, oh, it's this four, three, two recipe. The first two ingredients are four, the next are three and the next are two and I've got my ingredient and it's gonna vary based on the recipes that I make. So as I do other videos, you're gonna start seeing some recipes pop up with the cast caps and it's gonna have my new cast cap measurement that I've devised so that you can replicate the recipe exactly if you'd like. And if you don't like the recipe or you want more of something or less of something, you can take away a twist, you can add a twist, but it's very easy. Forget about measuring spoons, you just don't need them anymore. So from left to right, we're gonna start with some sea salt. This is a kosher grained sea salt. You really don't wanna use super fine sea salts, use like flor de sal and other coarse salts because it will cause the top to possibly bind, which is easily resolvable, we talked about. We'll just go ahead and wash the cap, let it dry, and then you're good to go. But we have our coaster grain sea salt. We've got our black pepper, our garlic, paprika, rosemary, and chili. We're gonna do the 432 method. That's my method for this generic rub. Basically, we got four sea salt and black pepper, three garlic and paprika, and two rosemary and chili. And we're gonna have a really nice generic rub that'll work on just about any protein that you wanna put it on. So now we'll go ahead and we're gonna do the fastest recipe in the West. Here you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and one, two. Now I don't have to tell you anything other than that and that recipe is absolutely complete. And we'll go ahead and mix this up. And we have an absolutely fantastic generic rub. Now you have a really nice salt, pepper, garlic, a little extra kick with some chili powder and very, very simple seasoning. Now we'll go ahead and see what I'm cooking today. I'm 
Firing up some ribs, perfectly seasoned. We use that exact rub that I showed you. We don't wanna go heavy because we don't wanna take away the flavor from the Iberico, but does that look good or what? Now this is my spice rack, and as you can see, this is the inner workings of my kitchen. These are all the spices that I use and seasonings, but I also have another stash as well, and they're the ones that I don't use as common, but I do use them, so I'll show you those right now. And for my not so common spices I use, but I do use them, I've got some more cast caps here, my turmeric, my clove, my nutmeg, my ginger. That is the great value of the cast cap is I can have these things in various places for the different times that I use them. So to sum up our overview, we have the cast cap, which is the latest invention for your kitchen to get rid of your measuring spoons, especially the ones that are, you know, eighth of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. You just don't need the teaspoon or tablespoon measurements anymore because this will do it with the quarter of a teaspoon output every time you twist the top. You also have the sprinkle function on top if you want to sprinkle off those seasonings. And it's great for organization and keeping those spices fresh in the jar. Hope you like this overview. Please leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you in fact like it. I hope you keep on watching. Smoke on, baby!